Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Hi. William. William. Okay, William. Could you? Everybody. Oh, William. Okay, get up. Thank you. Okay, my turn. <sighs> I'm not sure if you can see me here. I hear, here I am. Here I am. And my name is Jason. Today I'm going to do a instruction video on ultra light stove. Well, maybe you have experience to go outdoor for hiking. Uh, I bought this one. <laughs> I bought this Coleman uh, multi fuel stove. You can use um, Coleman white gas. You can use um, gasoline, and it's very ideal size. Compared to the camping one, camping that is big, and it is for backpacking. And if you have one of these <coughs> Coleman, <laughs> excuse me, uh, one of these Coleman basket, I got this Coleman basket uh, from outlet for six dollars, five ninety nine, which is six dollars. Very compact design. I like those classical aluminum because the classical aluminum is very lightweight. Also, the reason I bought it because they have this aluminum cup. Today, most of other brand names, such as uh, Stan Sport, Tech Sport, they all replace this one with plastic. So I like it all metal. Okay, so uh, how it looks like is you might it might look like this one, and you could make warm up a cup of soup, and you could you could keep in your uh, backpack uh, meal. Okay, but is that really light? Well, I'm not a very, um, very muscular guy, so for me it's not uh, light enough. So there's other alternative. One to buy those ultra expensive thing, or you can build your own. They take take back nicely, and here's the uh, this thing you could you could make keep them together. Another start, like this way. Okay, so now. Besides this heavy, heavy but fancy uh, multi fuel stove, we will have other alternatives. One, you could buy it for a few hundred dollars, uh, or you can make your own alcohol stove. What you will need will be two cans. It doesn't have to be Pepsi, it could be Coke, it could be beer, it could be Coors Light. And the end product will look like something like this. Okay, it's made of two bottom of the can, but I cut off the one of the bottom, and then uh, also, well, I will explain that the step by step. First of all, we need, we need tools. Yeah, yeah. Funny. I'm funny, really. This is my very first YouTube, so don't mess it up. Thank you. Okay, first of all, you need a knife. You can use those traditional, very old style, I guess, uh, very old style utility knife. And it's very sturdy design, and it's very good for the past uh, couple decades. I believe it might continue for a few more centuries. But there's a pro and con about this kind of uh, utility knife. You could get something newer. This is made by Gieber. Is it called Gieber? The sub name is called Super Knife. Super Knife. And this model is called SK2. Um, they improved the uh, the blade release in here, so they come out with a new one. I like the silver because when you have blue or purple or pink, and you have scratch, and you you just lose the color. I ca I tend to like things last forever, so I buy this one, and it's very useful. The good thing about it is when you open it, you can see that there's a flat surface, flat, flat, versus a curved surface. This is a curve, and it's flat. So we'll know. We'll, I'll show you in, in a minute. Okay. First of all, what you need to do is get a can, and you need to cut off. Well, it doesn't matter how far it is, um, but you could use something as a guide, such as a tape. If a tape, you could put your knife next to it. And then here comes my ADT installation guy. Oh, probably don't see him. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then, uh, so just twisting your your knife, but you see, when you do that, it's not exactly flat. You might be like this way or this way, and then you lose your exactly angle. So I I like those flat top. 
can see the knife is really flat. So when you cut, it will be evenly. So you cut it. First of all, you can make it nice line just by twisting your cane around. And after a while, you can see that you have a line, very fine, thin line over there. You have two choices. One is keep doing this for like, I'm not sure how long it will take. Then apparently, it will cut off. Then you will have a very good bottom. The bottom of something look like this. So I cut off. Because I lose my patience, I use more force. So now the edge wasn't that flat. If you have, uh, you can use scissor too. And scissor could cut it really nicely. And but this is very first stuff I make, and so that's how it looks like. Well, after you make two of those, um, you, you make two of those, and what else do you need? Oh, you need to have a wall. So here is the finished product. Here is the finished product. Actually, there's a warning inside. There's a wall. There's a warning inside. And um, besides, besides the wall, also need to have one of the bottom kept removed. How do you remove that? Here's the way. Again, you tear the knife, and I prefer this because I could adjust the blade easily. So what I did is I put it, start very short, and I start turning. I just, I just, just use the edge to turn. And for a while, you could extend it a bit to have more pressure you could put onto it. And apparently, after a long circle, and you would cut it off. And so that's how I, how I get this part removed. So you want to keep one on, one removed. And then uh, you need a wall in between. Otherwise, um, um, you cannot have the pressure effect to make this this jet comes out so you need a wall how do you cut the wall is of course you could lower you cannot lower this one right but you can use coffee custard this one too, it's too high you could start like this the, uh, assuming this is a new can this is a new can and you can start from very high and you cut off a edge then you remove several of them to have only one and then you keep turning then you will end up to have something like this it become a tube Then you could either cut it open or use a knife to to cut it so it become like this way and what you do is you have this button then you put this inside you have to make sure that it is higher it, that inside wall must be higher than outside because you have another top my top is the refrigerator. I forgot to take it out. So I couldn't show you how to put it together. Uh, you could, on the top one, you could, you could push, this, put the, push this in a little bit and then fit it into it. Then you can use your finger inside to, to push it out. And so you will come out with a stuff like this. And then the next thing is you need to have a jet hose. The jet hose. How could you use them? You can use nail, drill. I highly recommend drill. Uh, but you can use this nail, it will do the job too. And just nail it, and it's easy to measure side by side, side by side, side by side, side by side. Now you have eight. Between each eight, you put one hole, totally make them 16. So how you use them is you pull about a, a tablespoon or tea, teaspoon should be fine. Uh, alcohol in the inside. The natural is better, or you can use something called heat, H-E-E-T. And once you, you put the alcohol in inside, you light it up, and it will just burn in the middle first. And the, the, the flame in the middle will heat up this, the wall, and the whole can will be warmed up. And once it warm up, and they start vibrate very fast, and the fire will catch on the rim. So the rim fire will start going out, and then the middle will be out. There will be no fire. Then you can put your Sierra cup, and you can boil your two cup. This is one cup size. It's a regular one cup. Stainless uh, Sierra cup, and you can have this bigger one, two cup, and I believe it take about ten to eight minutes to boil a two cup uh, Sierra cup, and that is my review. And by the way, for about a tool, tool I'd like to talk about more about this SK2. Um, it's very well made. It is uh, stainless steel, and this is the uh, aluminum. 
and most importantly it made in Taiwan let's talk about how, how good the quality is and I never have I think this is the last one is the first one and no the last one this last one utility never ever buy thank you very much